Hello citizens of Radomed Nation of Theodora, welcome to the Frontiers, we're playing in Open Silas 4 in the Iron Man campaign. Iron Man, Iron Man. Oh yeah, we fought some rebels. Let's reinforce our armies quickly. At the cost, at, the, at some expenses. Da, da, da. So yeah, like for example, oh yeah, we got a bunch of new converted, newly converted provinces. Let's check out the accepted cultures map mode. This actually is one of the more important ones. Let's change the terrain map mode to this one. Con accepted cultures map mode. So we've got a bunch of more provinces converted. The name looks awful, but here it looks nice. Yeah, it kind of looks nice. I like it. I kind of wish it would spread out like this. I hope it would. Uh, yeah, I forgot to start the timer. So we'll add a minute or two on that on top. Okay, so now we've converted a, bun a bunch of bronzes here as well, I assume. Zagreb. We're almost done here in Varast. Maybe a bunch of bronzes here, I'm not sure. Is this, this one, maybe? Yeah, probably this one. Vidin. So now we should have more taxation and production here. More uh, goods produced, because this affects... No, it doesn't affect, it only affects taxation. Okay, cool. Overall, more taxation is great for us. Oh, so I guess now it shows? Yeah, I think that was it. Okay, then. Alright, let's continue. On with the show. So one more month of reinforcement, and then we'll stop. Yep, there goes our claim on Ottomans. That also means the true timers is up. Let's get more production. Speaking of which, production scales very good late game. Um, what was I doing? Yes, lowering the maintenance. Of course, Ottomans are also at war, which kind of makes it very, very appealing for us to declare on them, but we'll fabricate claims first. Varast now has the culture we desire, which is Gothic. So now we'll have more money. More money is good. No taxation modifiers. Taxation change minus... Taxation change zero, actually, because we have post-war tax relief. Hmm. All right. So, get more production. Constable... Should build one here, if we don't have it. Which we might. We need ones... Yeah, silk is pretty good. Let's get silk. This is silk, right? I'm reading this correctly. Yeah, it is silk. So, we are in control of this silk here. Which is very nice. We cannot no longer claim that Bozok would be a rightful part of the, our, our realm. Kind of terrible. Austria is at war with Brandenburg. Hmm. When is our truce expiring with you, Austrians? We don't have a truce with you anymore. We kind of should declare war on Austria. Is it possible to build such an economy where you can sustain three level three advisors? Yes, very much so. It is possible to sustain such an, to build such an economy. I've had that kind of economy in um, multiple, actually, series on my channel. We were able to sustain that in Albania, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it is also possible with, Byzanti with Byzantines. It is very much possible if you have innovative ideas on up to the maximum, which we do. This saves up a lot of money on divisors. Like, a lot. <laughs> really saves up a bunch of money. We don't even have a level 3 advisors available, which kind of sucks. Well, we do have this diplomatic dude. Alright, so our Johan needs to live for five more years. Of course he's going to die in like the first, like, day one, as soon as he reaches the throne. I'm sure of that. <laughs> mm. 
That will be very sad. And I will be very frustrated. Yay for frustration. Actually, not really. Gives me a reason to finally not get nuked. <laughs> Uh, I suppose so. Austria has a glorious monument in Barwa. <laughs> I'm now really tempted to go destroy it. <laughs> Still enough to justify a war if we so wish. We have uh, diplomatic power, unacceptable. Convert cultures. Convert all the unaccepted cultures. How much do we actually need? Oh man, we got a lot of it. Yeah, we got a lot of work. Although at most we'd have to pay 82 diplomatic power per province. Which is kind of crazy if you think about it. It's a six base tax province. We got like 45% reduction. Base cost is 150. It's very good. Religious is very good if you want to convert cultures. Is there any more culture conversion cost on that? I wonder. Religious ideas. Um, plus influence. We already got that. No, doesn't seem to be the case. It's cool that it's actually an option. Another claim a province. Yeah, we need to have more claims. Come on, diplomats, go to work. Go to work. What country would you would I say is the best for the first game? Hmm. It is a difficult question. Like it depends. My first game ever played was Austria. And it was great. Because Austria, the benefits of playing as Austria is that you get uh, pretty much, you can ignore sh fleets completely, because, you, well, you don't have to bother with them really. You get a pretty easy early game with uh, being the Emperor and such. You have a pretty large army as the Austria at the start. If you get Burgundian inheritance fire quickly, you get very good, pardon me, you get very good taxes and you can uh, play a little bit you can, if you learn quickly you can actually get into the trade game here because it's uh, in a very good trade node here so if you get the Burgundian inheritance to fire you can play trade game you play the Emperor game which requires you to learn diplomacy and how to how does it work and all these different aspects of diplomatic act act actions and activities you can perform and eventually you can snowball to become very strong and feel how a very strong nation feels so you can aspire for it. For something. We have got a costly trade embargo. Oh, I assume that's Ottomans then. Since we can no longer rival no longer rival them. Who can we rival though? We can rival Austria. Let's rival Austria. And I'm not sure if embargoes actually work in this patch, do they? Did they fix embargoes? Let's check. Trade power, actual number, we need to find this, multiplied by 0.91 due to 8.9. So, embargoes are fixed now. Damn. Then I wish to embargo more people. I don't need relationships with Iraq since I cannot integrate them. So yeah, I'd say that Austria as a first game would be my pick because... Because, well, it was my pick. <laughs> my first nation I've ever played in EU4 was Austria. So we can embargo you now. No, not as we, not if we need it, but... This will upset them. Of course it should. Damn right it should. Let's embargo Spain as well. And I guess Russia. Come on. Come on, envoy. Come home. Bum 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 Issue an embargo. Good. 
Seems like my little vassal states are doing alright. Oh yes, I need to replace a general. Let's replace a general. Well, that's a good replacement. That's a great replacement, in fact. I'm wondering if... Yeah, Karakunla should give us access. Let's get out of there. Da, 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 da. A very good question on the first country. Very good one. Okay, so let's get some more of uh, economical improvements. Fish. I don't think it's actually worth improving, so let's not improve that. Mm, wine is always worth improving. Naval supplies, yes. Salt. Mm. Got 2.2. With a base of two. I don't think it's worth it. Let's not, improve, let's not improve salt. We will, however, improve iron. Very good resource to improve. Naval supplies again. Cloth, pretty decent. Cyprus with wine. More naval supplies. We got wine upgraded here. No, we will not upgrade anything else there. We get upgraded. We get a, a, we have everything else here. All right, and we actually are out of money. That is convenient. That is very much convenient. Somebody added me on Steam. I'll have to take a look at that later. All right. On with the show. What did Kara even do? I'm not sure if they took any lands. No, I don't think they did. <clears throat> After all this war with Ottomans, they didn't take any lands. Kind of interesting, I'd say. <clears throat> Siena, we don't have this. Yep, yeah, okay. Documents on Amasya. Let's get Ankara. Yawa has started to become westernized. It's a pretty big nation down here. It's probably westernizing off of these guys, like Timbuktu. No, it's westernizing off Katsina. Impossible, I don't think it is. Oh yes, it is possible, okay. Katsina is westernized. And they westernized off of Great Britain. Okay, makes sense. French colonies here. <laughs> so what is our priority here on claims? I would prioritize this province, Maras. We really, really need it. If we get Maras, we can claim this stuff. Which is already our claims. And then we can convert them. But I would also say that if we get Mamluks fed enough, just like feed them all of our all of their cores that they lost and then integrate them. These two are actually cores of Mamluks. We should get them back to Egyptian cores. Architectural development. It's too little of a power gain compared to the money loss. So we are now in no need of such reform. This event used to be a lot better, I think. It used to give 50-50-50, and then it would be worth it. But now, not so much, I guess. They have tweaked some major events. Alright, let's get some more economy stuff. So, again, we are going to upgrade stuff that we need to. Like, cloth is worth upgrading. This is worth upgrading. Hmm... We can no longer claim Kutahia. Damn it, we're losing all the claims. Come on, we need more claims. Iron would be worth upgrading. Copper. Wine, sure. These are already upgraded. This one... Oh, we can't afford any more upgrades. Okay. Understandable. Understandable. Ba ba 
got uh, anything here? No, nothing new. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. We could go to war with Austria. But allied with Spain. Did you fabricate more claims on Spain? No, just one? Alright. That's good enough. Keep on fabricating claims on Ottomans. As we do. <laughs> okay. Now, pardon me, I have to pause the recording and check something. Unpaused. We have to transfer a save file uh, for a collaboration that we are going to do. We are going to do with a bunch of other U4 YouTubers. Small channels, kind of much like mine. I really like the idea of co collaborations, so of course I welcomed it. Oh no, a general is dead. Damn, let's get another one. Let's hope that we get a good replacement. Mm, it's kind of okay for a replacement. Sell that shit. <laughs> oh man. Oh well. Okay. What is this? Royal marriage offer from Mamluks? No. I will decline that. I would have to decline that. Do you reinforce? We did. Good. Let's drop the army maintenance. And keep on building structures. Build up production. It's gonna get easier soon because we'll already have upgrades in provinces that we need them in. Like provinces with good uh, resources like wine or naval supplies. Or iron. Iron is one of the better ones. It's 4.5 now. France denied, uh, requesting to come to the aid in the French-Swiss Nationalist War. Really? Oh, Burgundian provinces. I see. This is a war that they have started. Switzerland is allied with Genoa and Tuscany. Yes, of course I'll help you out, France. You cheeky bugger. Orthodox and how would off Mamluks offer me a royal marriage? Simple, my friend, because Mamluks are an Orthodox duchy. <laughs> Very simple, my friend. Not actually going to participate in this war. I think French got this. The respect is overdue. The pen is backed by the sword. I like this. I like the sound of that. <laughs> Can no longer claim. God damn it! Stop losing claims. So, did we build pro improvements in every bronzes that I went up to? Yes, it seems like I did. We might want to build a bunch of bronzes in these prom is this in these when we conquer them, but he might already build. Yeah, he already built some pro some improvements here, like constables and workshops. <laughs> Again, continue on converting the cultures. Because, well, I've already invested in that, so I might as well continue going the, with the path I chose. French-Swiss Nationalist War. Ridiculous. 
So we'll basically have to fabricate all the claims again if we want to go to war. Got a Cassus Belly on Huron. On who run again? <laughs> what the hell is Spain doing here? They were at war with Songhai, Mali, and Katsina. I see. Not sure why they were at war, but okay. I guess he wants to expand here or something. Bum, 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 ba, bum, 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 bum. Bronze of Mingrelia now has the culture we desire. Gothic. Very nice. Improved it, improved taxation. I really like having high patriarch authority, so I'm going to keep it. Pretty sweet, Theodora. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Mm -hmm. Keep on stacking production. Again, making sure that I build them in proper provinces, like these, for example. All right, good. In any case, I think it's time to put a cut in between YouTube episodes. So, if you're watching me on YouTube, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and possibly subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I will see you again next time, and as always, have a good day.